Okay, we made it to Friday. Uh, it's been a long week of um, just kind of crazy stuff going on. Like, I don't know what's what it is. Something was in retrograde, obviously. Um, <clears throat> I kept dropping stuff, missing things, forgetting things. I um, was almost get, getting ready for work. You know, like you're going to be late if you have one more thing you have to do in the morning. And... I went to my bedside to grab something and knocked over a full glass of water, so that was fun. Um, luckily, I work at a great place and they don't, um, you know, I'm on time all the time, so they don't care if I'm a little late and I can work a little later. So, um, anyways, it's finally Friday. I have some really cool things going on this weekend, so I wanted to come and talk to you guys a little bit about these cards. Heaven, this will be my first um, card what do you call it? Flip through. Um, so that'll be fun. We'll see how I do. Uh, hopefully I don't ramble too much, but I wanted to do this because I have had the, um, in bulk season of the witch in bulk Oracle deck waiting for me in my, um, my wish list for a while. And I have decided at the beginning of the month to do a no buy ish month which was just kind of like buy local um and buy thrift which i did but this is the one thing i wanted and because in bulk is upon us i wanted to get it um in time i actually got it day before yesterday and didn't have time to do a video and wanted to share it with you guys as i opened it so i have the season of the witch sam uh let's see how do we say that saw wayne saw wayne Season of the Witch Saw Wayne Oracle deck. That's the first one I got and that I really loved. Um, <clears throat> and then I got the uh, Season of the Witch Yule deck. Uh, so the next in line because I have the Saw Wayne, the Yule, and the next, next is the Imbolc. So I'm kind of doing that as like my gift for the Sabbaths um, is get myself the the deck so uh, i got it on amazon because it's not local uh, there's nowhere local that has it for me so um, i'm gonna move these guys over here and then we will open it up it's still in its wrapper so whoop, don't cut myself on film ah uh, you know after film is fine <laughs> right okay so we have our little our plastic shrink wrap get that off real quick i love doing that such a waste but I love it so we have season of the witch in bulk oracle Lorraine Anderson and Juliet Diaz who I really love I love their stuff so much this one is illustrated by Tijana or Tijana Lukovic um, and the other two that I have are illustrated by Giada Rose um, so we'll see what I like about this one I like the cover so far uh, it's not super different illustrations, like they seem to have the same style. Uh, and then we have our side, and it has the beautiful, let's see if I can get that flash that we all love. Um, on the side, all the, all the sides have the Season of the Witch in bulk oracle, which is nice because you can put it on, you know, like you can put it on your, in, I have, I stack them in a little row. Um, or not stack, but you know, like this, like a book, like a book, like books do. So on the back, we have this season, get ready to ascend from darkness, reaching for your hopes and dreams as you step out of winter and into the light. In bulk is associated with patience, hope, transition, and beginning, beginning the ascent back to the light after the darkness of the winter months. This is the perfect season to represent the self. Each of the cards in this deck is a seed of spiritual guidance inspired by ancient and bulk traditions. So you can find answers to your most profound questions. Along with thoughtful meanings are powerful wor word spells to invoke the energy of each card and send your intentions of spiritual well-being out into the universe. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I wonder if this one has 
I don't think these have the word spells, but we'll see if it's different or not. I can, we can compare. So it has, it's got the beautiful moon. We just had the, um, the wolf full moon. Put that over there. And then we have our booklet. <clears throat> and then we have Season of the Witch. I think this has been out for a little while. Um, yeah, 2000, well, 2003. So it came out. That's not too long. Excuse my dog. He's a little brat. Um, Leo. All right. He's literally sitting in the window by my sewing machine. So we've got our um, contents, introduction in bulk themes and areas of focus, how to use the cards, in bulk card spread, and in bulk cards. So we have our list of cards and how to find them. It's just confusing to me when I first looked at the, at first got cards. I was like, I don't understand. It takes me a minute sometimes. Okay, so we have our wheel of the year. Our introduction, I'll read the first. The wheel now turns to in bulk, the midway point between the start of winter and the start of spring. In each deck of the Season of the Witch Oracle deck series, we hone in on one guiding light, our, our North Star, to represent the energy of each Sabbath. Okay. In bulk themes and areas of focus, awakening, cleansing, healing, hope, illumination, innocence, inspiration, light, patience, sprouting, and well-being, and youth. Well, youth, huh? I'm slipping away real quick. Um, how to use the card, pulling cards. You may wish to establish an oracle reading Rituals such as lighting your favorite candle or incense, playing music, or using a particular space to do your readings. Mini messages, repeating elements. That's interesting. If you're familiar with previous editions of the Season of the Witch Oracle series, you may have noticed there is a repeating element per deck that is featured in some way on every single card. I did not know that. That is interesting. It's got... I'm assuming maybe it's the little moth and the crystals. Well, maybe not. Using cards beyond in bulk. Daily guidance or reflection cards. Guiding light cards. Falling cards and reversals. In bulk card spreads. Oh, falling cards. Uh, okay, so I guess that would be like, you know, if it falls out, but... Uh, maybe this can be kind of like, um, I know um, uh, Disco was talking about how she was at, she's been asking about what, when decks or like cards fall on the floor. I think so. She can let me know. Sometimes cards will fall from your deck when there is a message that really needs your attention. So Disco, maybe it needs like extra attention because it fell all the way onto the floor. <laughs> like, hey, I'm down here. Get me. And then we have in bulk card spreads. So we have interviewer direct spread, getting to know the seasons of the witch, which is a great one. Uh, in bulk cross. It's interesting. Culture cross was the very first spread outside of it past slash present slash future spread that I learned how to do. Aquarius spread, candle dressing spread. That's kind of fun. I really like candle magic, so that would be cool. Coming of spring spread. That's a nice one too. Rosemary bread spread. Do we get to eat the rosemary bread? Use the spread above to figure out what the main problem is in a troubled relationship or mend a broken relationship. Oh, I want to eat the bread though. Okay. Sacred space spread. Consider using this spread once a month to check in with things you may have been ignoring or simply haven't put much in thought to, thought into. Oh, that's a good idea. Self-ceremony spread. Okay, and then we go into the in-bulk cards. 
and they have um it's it's a pretty like basic um they're not thick pages it's just regular book pages but they are in color which is nice um so yeah all right let's look at our cards of course we have this um the rock pool oracle reading thing i don't know has anybody done this the download it and and done their whatever they do i don't know anyway i don't want that in there for me that's just like you know i know it's advertising but maybe just we don't need a whole nother paper right okay so we have our little our little thing here we're gonna take that out our little paper paper belt and that's beautiful backing we've got the moon and then six candles all like that obviously and the little stars star here and star here I love stars and then what I love how they have I love the the one of these gilded edges the shiny kind of metallic Let's see if we can get a little shine on those the um the yule cards have the green so similar to i don't know if you can see the green in there that green the witch's green and then the sawain have the <clears throat> the red which i really love the red it's really pretty but this blue is beautiful it's very it's almost like it's almost a purple in some light but yeah, okay, so let's start. I'm gonna put this over here, put our scissors away so we don't cut ourselves, put this in here. Uh, all right, let's look and see what we have. We have Winter Woodlands. I, they, apparently they're not in order. Winter, oh, maybe they are, I'm doing it backwards. Let's do that, yeah? Yeah, let's turn them back over, let's try it this way. Remember, it's my first time, okay? All right, we have amethyst. It's beautiful. So there's the um, the crystals. Angelica. Antlers. Oh, that's beautiful with the flowers and the antlers. <clears throat> I sure hope you guys can see these. Aquarius. Aquarius is with the water and she has her stars. Oh, they're beautiful. And then the moon looks cold, but I kind of want to be her. Uh, arts and crafts. Oh, that's sweet. With the bird, it's like it's almost outside. And they're making a, um, a Bridget, Bridget's doll. Brid and it looks like a Bridget's cross, too. That's really cute. And then bathing ritual that's something we've been hearing a lot on beth and um beth's channel she's been talking about doing the uh <clears throat> kind of bathing ritual where you bathe off the the funky energy of your day well i have to i'll have to do that black bear that's really pretty this has a lot of moons oh yeah got a lot of moons blackberries I want to harvest blackberries this um, spring because I think you can, you can make blackberry tea and where I'm at there's tons this is bloodstone closing your eyes to the truth of rea of reality will only connect you with the illusions you have created Ugh. <clears throat> so it looks like there's a moon on a lot of these. There's maybe a moon in every one. Bridget. That's beautiful. She has her cauldron. And she has her Bridget's, Bridget's doll and her Bridget's crosses. And then maybe this is her little pup sleeping while she works away. So it looks like the dolls are in a lot of them and the crosses. Yeah, I think the doll might be. This is Bridget's doll. That's interesting. Can you see how they put, like, there's, she's adorned. I love that. 
<clears throat> oh, this is this is really cute. I like that. That's me right there with my skull and my my maybe a little I don't know a little crow, some candles, I'm drying some herbs and flowers. That's so pretty. Casserole. These are these ones are kind of lighter than um than the other ones, the other two decks, like like. More whimsical, I guess. Cinnamon rolls. Ooh, cinnamon rolls. Kind of stick together like uh, the edges stick together. <clears throat> but just because they're right out of the package, I think. Look at those cinnamon rolls. I want cinnamon rolls. There's more Bridget's doll and the cross. And the little bird and candles. Coming of spring. Uh, beneath my feet stir the waking spiraling surges of warmth that tell of life ready to birth. I like that it's the contrast between birth and death. It's really beautiful. Um, <clears throat> I celebrate Dia de los Muertos. Um, growing up in Mexico, death is um, very different than how we deal with death here and I'm my father died when I was really young and I'm well it's tragic um and traumatizing I'm really glad that he passed there because a lot of what we did while we were there was very um it was very uh healing right like right away so um moving on consecrate tools Dark days of winter. It looks sad. It reminds me of all the people, the houseless people in our in our country. It's it's tragic, also very sad, and I wish there was something I could do about it, but I do my best. But you know, it's not really up to me. Um, Dawn. Devotion, writing in her journal, or maybe her grimoire, or her book of shadows. Dream what realm? Ooh, that right there is a freaking nightmare to me. If I dreamed of snakes wrapping around my me like that, I would go running and screaming out of my house. No, 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 thank you. Forged in fire. garlic it's kind of funny how you know you go from forged in fire garlic <laughs> i don't know i mean it's really they're cute cards but it just feels like a little um i guess it's balance right a little like more intense to garlic let's see what garlic says it is unwise to walk beyond the boundaries you have yet to expand on. Protection among all else. Okay. Greenhouse. Grimoire. I'm working on my grimoire. I've never had one before, so I'm working on it. Groundhog. That's sweet. Horned Owl. That's interesting. House Mouse! Look at the House Mouse! Aw, that's so freaking cute. Aw, he's adding a little, um, looks like a little herb. That's really cute. Incense. I love the, um, the hanging incense. <clears throat> these these hanging I don't know what they're called these hanging incense holders um I grew up in Mexico and go, we would go to the Catholic churches not my family but I my friends and um I would just go and actually am baptized as Catholic by my godparents who decided I needed to be baptized um and they would with the copal incense or well it's a resin would walk down, you know, the the church 
before <clears throat> for anything that's interesting the the catholic is really if you think about it it is very witchy it has a lot of witchy elements keening wow i'm not even sure what i know hold on for just a moment in time acknowledging before release and liberating what needs to be freed I'm not even sure what I, if I know what keening is. To be keen on something is to really like something. So I don't know. I'll have to look it up or you guys can tell. Or here's another one I don't know. Kulning. K-U-L-N-I-N-G. Kulning. That's interesting. Learning new things. Milk Moon Witch. Ooh. What is a milk moon witch? Do you guys know what a milk moon witch is? Let me know down below. North Star. Uh-huh. Guiding the ships. It's beautiful. Peppermint. River Rocks. I've heard different things. So she looks, she's, um... Balancing the rocks. I've heard different things about balancing rocks. That it's like not a great thing to do in nature. Like if you're on a path, don't go balance rocks. But then I've heard people that say that it's fine. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Rosemary bread. Do they have a recipe? I'm joking. Can't make bread. I've tried. I can make it into like a bread maker. But by hand, no. Uh, but I, now I want some rosemary bread. Because I'm, I'm very susceptible to, um, what do you call it, marketing <laughs> when it comes to food. Sacred space. Beautiful. She's got her witch's broom. She took her shoes off. She's getting ready. Self-ceremony. That's beautiful. I really like that they use... Um, I'm, I think, you know, most of the the girls in this are young. There are a few men. Um, but I like how they use people of color and um, a little diversity. There's another snake one. Are there snakes everywhere and I'm just missing them? I hope so. <laughs> or I hope I'm missing them, but I hope they're not everywhere. Uh, slither through throughout as you shed in preparation for a new beginning. Okay, no thank you. Snowdrop. It's interesting. Snowflakes. Swan. Weather divination. Hmm. Okay, this is thunder, wind, and I can't tell what that says. I don't know. Can I see that? Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, winter besom. Besom. That's another word I need to look up. I know. I think I've got a few different. Um, <clears throat> well, one of the books that I have has. I think the one that Hestia's helper gave me um, has like a. Basically, a, like a, a dictionary of, of different witchy words. So I'll look and see. I think that was on there. I forgot what it was, though. I was looking at that one the other night on winter woodland. So these are the two that we saw the first. So, uh, and this is a beautiful deck. I think I like the other deck, um, the other two better. I like the artist better. Like this, you know, it's just kind of art that I'm not a super fan of. But I don't not like it. It's just not something that like really grabs me. I'm more into like kind of the spooky stuff. I'm also <clears throat> it's kind of interesting the um the kind of switch from like you know we have got okay we have horned owl we have ground hog grimoire greenhouse garlic what didn't. Am I crazy? Oh, that's because I'm doing them backwards. So we had the forged fire and then we got the garlic. So it kind of just felt um, dream realm, devotion, dawn, 
dark days of winter. So they, I guess they're, maybe they're in kind of, well, they're cinnamon roll casserole. Oh, it's like, I guess it's maybe, um, in order of some way that I'm just not understanding. Uh, but it does kind of feel random. Um, but if you guys see some pattern that I'm missing, um, I don't always see the patterns, um, until later, you know, kind of thing. Let me know. Uh, what do you guys think? Should we shuffle and pull a card? So one of the things too is I'm not, I'm not sure. So I believe in kind of, um, energy and, and, you know, like actual energy, like we're passing energy back and forth and putting things in it or that everything has energy. Like this deck was created by somebody. Oh, that was a terrible shuffle. This deck was created by somebody. So they put all this effort into it and put that energy out into the world. And then it was printed. So, and it was edited and people saw that. And then other people have looked at it and there have been, you know, videos made about it and there have been, people have done readings and so on and so forth. Um, and you know, I'm putting energy into it right now, but, um, I believe, so I believe that we're passing that kind of inner energy back and forth. It's one of the things that I can really, um, <clears throat> kind of believe in because we know that energy doesn't just disappear. It goes somewhere else, just, you know, matter and energy. Um, so that's how I feel about all of this stuff that we're doing. Um, it's my skeptic's way of, of believing, I guess I could say. And maybe I'm delusional. Who knows? Maybe. And as a skeptic, I can't say, excuse me for rattling the table and making shapes. I can't say 100% of anything being true because, um, that would be, uh, what would you call it? Uh, super egotistical of me right and I'm a humble person I don't I don't think that anybody knows the whole truth and if somebody says that they know the whole truth then run like hell get the f out of there because nobody does and if somebody's telling you that they know the whole truth they are wrong as hell and you need to get away from them as quick as possible that's my word of wisdom all right so we got so like I was saying, I don't, I have, I feel like I need to use these a little more and get into them for it to really give us a good reading. Um, and then I also think that I have a very, um, I have ADHD. So my mind is kind of going from place to place. And I always say I have like ping pong, ping pong ideas in my head and I'm just, my brain is just ping ponging all over the place. If you haven't noticed by the way that I talk and going back and forth. Um, and so I have to, when I do readings, I put um, noise canceling headphones on. I light candles um, and then I concentrate. That's the way I can concentrate and really put my energy into it. Um, it also helps me read and understand because it's hard for me to just like, you know, pull a card and read with without having that concentration. So, um we'll pull this and maybe it's maybe this is for somebody else that you've been thinking about this deck or um you know your energy is coming to me for some reason um and I've pulled it for you so let's look and see we got the uh winter woodlands and they have keywords and the keywords this is number 44 take time to honor what you feel self-compassion is the healing balm you desire I mean, I think that's a good one for right now, for, for most of us, actually. Um, it's, it's a time that a lot of people are having a really hard time. Um, you know, we're in the dark, we're getting out of it. People have, there's emotional stuff going on. Um, there's, it's just hard. It's cold. It's, um, you know, people spend a lot of money on the holidays and then we're recouping We've had a lot of time with family and friends, which can often be great, but is also, I know, really, really hard for people and takes a lot of our energy. So we're all just kind of trying to get by right now. So taking time to honor um, what you feel is just kind of understanding that your, um, 
you're allowed to feel that and and it's okay to feel it and take time for that don't wallow in it but take some time all right so let's do so let's look it up 44 44 oh that's the 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 first card and it's the first card we looked at and it'll be the last card we looked at and it's the last card in the deck so 131 and what, what, I, i'm like going through it while like i can't just go about you know go to the last one and find it <clears throat> okay so 131 yeah this this is this deck right here so it looks like they've got the card on this side and then the meanings on the back heart healing can feel a lot like being in winter woodlands in this landscape it can seem like time is standing still and the pain you are facing will be with you forever healing is never simple and oftentimes you may not even know you're in a healing phase until you've made your way out you may be ready to give up and shut yourself off from anything good that is attempting to come into your life. But you have pulled this card to tell you that healing is happening for you. Do not feel any pressure to heal your heart in any particular way. Sometimes it may feel like you're going in circles, passing the same emotions and feelings time and time again. But you must trust that you are headed in the right direction. Be gentle with yourself in the coming weeks, allowing yourself to feel what you're feeling without trying to change. You can still love someone even if they have hurt you or grieve for something even if other people don't understand why. That doesn't mean you're silly. It means you're human. Don't worry. The frost on your heart will thaw and spring will find you again. So there we go. Um, that really kind of makes me think about our emotions and how a lot of us, especially women and especially of a certain age, you know, or young women too, um, we try to be as strong as possible and we've come to a place in our society where we don't have a lot of time to be together and with each other. Like, um, in the past we had, you know, um, communities and when we could get together a lot, a lot more often. Um, but that we can, it's okay to be not okay. And you will get through this. I've been through so much trauma in my life and I know now that it does hurt and I don't want to invalidate anybody's hurt, but it will get better. Um, we will have trials again and we, those will also heal and we'll get better from that. So just acknowledging that you're having a hard time is okay. Um, talk to somebody if you can, even if it's just text texting, let me know underneath if you have something you want to say. Um, obviously, you know, it's, it, it you're out in the public, so don't give me any details. But if you want to, you know, just say something, I'm always happy to to read your comment and uh, hopefully I can comment back. Um, but I think we all need to just be gentle with ourselves, know that spring is coming and our hearts will be healed again. All right. Love you all and hope you have a great, great weekend.